We said what were the four? Osteocytes, osteoblasts, osteoprogenitor cells, and osteoclasts. Which ones crush osteoclasts? Which ones come from white blood cells? Osteoclasts. Which ones build? Osteoblasts. And where do they come from? From stem cells called osteoprogenitor cells. And once they mature and get stuck in lagoons or lacuna, they are called osteocytes. Let's take a look at them. So didn't I say osteoclast crush, right? It looks like a big macrophage, big eater. So it breaks down the bone matrix and it releases whatever um, calcium is needed for use somewhere else. Well, what did osteoblasts do? They're immature bone cells and they help to modify and build up bone. Uh, what are osteocytes? They're mature bone cells and where are they stuck? In lacunae. And then your last one, osteoprogenitor cells are your stem cells that are available for conversion to osteoblasts, which can then become osteocytes. So osteocytes get stuck in, I didn't show it, where is it? Sometimes, there we go, lacuna matata, yay! And we have osteoblasts, you guys can take a look at that. And then we have osteoprogenitor or stem cells, right? And then we have osteoclasts, which are basically macrophages, your white blood cells. And homeostasis, how does that work? Well, we'll take a look at that later. I'm going to actually do um, uh, a little diagram to help you guys memorize how calcium is, is brought into the body, how it's stored, and how it's released. So what is an osteon? An osteon is a basic functional unit of bone, and it is essentially... Let me do a drawing and see if you guys can figure out what I'm drawing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is a rendition of bone. Um, the circles here are actually osteons. This whole grouping here is an osteon. What an osteon